The Quran, a complete revelation. Translated and read by Sam Gerrans. Quranite.com Part 5 And married women, save what your right hands possess. The law of God is over you. But lawful to you is what is beyond that, if you seek with your wealth in chastity, not being fornicators. And what you desire thereof among them, give them their rewards as an obligation. And there is no wrong upon you in what you do by mutual agreement after the obligation. God is knowing, wise. And whoso has not been able among you to afford to marry free, believing women, then from what your right hands possess of believing maids. And God knows best your faith. You are alike, so marry them with the leave of their people and give them their rewards according to what is fitting, they being chaste and not fornicators nor taking secret friends. But when they are in wedlock, then if they commit sexual immorality, upon them is half what is due the free women of punishment. That is for him who fears hardship among you and that you be patient is best for you, and God is forgiving, merciful. God desires to make plain to you, and guide you to the established ways of those who were before you, and to turn towards you, and God is knowing, wise. And God desires to turn towards you, and those who follow vain lusts desire that you should deviate with tremendous deviation. God desires to make lighter for you, and man was created weak. O oh, you who heed warning, consume not your wealth among yourselves in vanity, or save by way of trade by mutual consent among you, and kill not yourselves. God is merciful to you, and whoso does that in enmity and injustice, we will burn him in a fire, and that is easy for God. If you avoid the enormities of what you are forbidden, we will remove from you your evil and make you enter at a noble entrance. And covet not that wherein God has favoured some of you over others. For men is a share of what they earn, and for women is a share of what they earn. And ask God out of his bounty. God is knower of all things. And for each have we appointed heirs to what parents and close relatives leave. And those with whom you have entered into contract, give them their share. God is witness over all things. Men are responsible for women by what God has favoured one of them over another, and by what they spend of their wealth. And the righteous women are devoutly dutiful, keeping unseen what God keeps. And those from whom you fear haughtiness, admonish them, and leave them in beds apart, and spank them, and if they obey you, seek not a way against them. God is exalted, great. And if you fear a split between them, raise up an arbitrator from his family and an arbitrator from her family. If they desire right ordering, God will reconcile them. God is knowing, aware. And serve God, and ascribe not a partnership with him to anything, and towards parents good conduct, and towards close relatives, and the fatherless, and the poor, and the neighbour who is kin, and the neighbour who is not kin, and the companion by your side, and the wayfarer, and those whom your right hands possess. God loves not such as are vainglorious, proud, those who are miserly and enjoin miserliness upon mankind and conceal what God has bestowed upon them of his bounty. And we have prepared for those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue a humiliating punishment. And those who spend their wealth to be seen of men and believe not in God or the last day and to whom the shaitan is an intimate companion, 
evil is he as an intimate companion? And how would it harm them if they believe in God and the last day and spend of what God has provided them? And God knows them. God wrongs not even the weight of an atom. And if there be any good, he multiplies it and gives of himself a tremendous reward. Then how will it be when we bring of every community a witness, and we bring thee as a witness against these? On that day those who are indifferent to warning and oppose the messenger will wish that the earth might be levelled with them, and they will not conceal from God any statement. O oh, you who heed warning, approach not the duty when you are intoxicated, until you understand what you say, nor when you are unclean, save passing by upon the road, until you wash. And if you are ill or on a journey, or one of you comes from defecation, or you have lain with women, then find not water. Resort to clean soil, and anoint your faces and your hands. God is pardoning, forgiving. Hast thou not considered those given a portion of the law? They purchase error and seek to make you stray from the way. And God knows best your enemies. And sufficient is God as ally. And sufficient is God as helper. Some of those who hold to Judaism twist words from their places. And they say we hear and we oppose. And hear thou other than what is heard. And Comply thou with us, twisting their tongues and slandering the doctrine. And had they said, We hear and we obey, and hear thou and examine thou us, it would have been better for them and more upright. But God cursed them for their denial. They do not believe, save a few. O oh, those in possession of the law! Believe in what we sent down confirming what is with you before we erase countenances and bring them to an end, or curse them as we cursed the companions of the Sabbath, and the command of God is carried out. God forgives not that a partnership be ascribed to him, and he forgives other than that whom he wills. And whoso ascribes a partnership to God, he has invented a tremendous falsehood. Hast thou not considered those who increase themselves in purity? The truth is God increases in purity whom he wills, and they will not be wronged a hair upon a date stone. See thou how they invent lies about God, and it suffices as obvious falsehood. Hast thou not considered those given a portion of the law, they believe in fictions and idols, and say of those who are indifferent to warning, These are better guided in the way than those who heed warning. These are they whom God has cursed, and he whom God has cursed, thou wilt not find for him a helper. If they have a portion of dominion, then will they not give mankind a speck on a date stone. If they envy men what God gave them of his bounty. We gave the house of Ibrahim the law and wisdom and gave them tremendous dominion. And among them are such as believe in it, and among them are such as forsake it, and sufficient is hell as an inferno. Those who deny our proofs, we will burn them in the fire. As often as their skins are consumed, we will change them for skins other than them, that they might taste the punishment. God is mighty, wise. And those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness, we will make them enter gardens beneath which rivers flow, they abiding eternally therein forever. For them therein are purified spouses and we will make them enter a protecting canopy of shade. God commands you that you deliver up trusts to their owners, and when you judge between men that you judge with justice. 
excellent is that to which God exhorts you. God is hearing, seeing. O you who heed warning, obey God and obey the messenger and those in command among you. Then, if you differ in anything, refer it to God and the messenger, if you believe in God and the last day. That is good and a better interpretation. Hast thou not considered those who claim to believe in what is sent down to thee, and what was sent down before thee, desiring to go for judgment to idols when they have been ordered to reject it? And the shaitan desires to lead them far astray. And when it is said to them, Come to what God has sent down, and to the messenger, thou seest the waverers forsake thee utterly. How will it be when misfortune befalls them because of what their hands have sent before them? Then will they come to thee, swearing by God, we intended only good conduct and success. These are they of whom God knows what is in their hearts. Turn thou away from them, but admonish thou them, and speak thou to them concerning their souls an effective word. And we sent any messenger, only that he be obeyed by God's leave. And had they, when they wronged their souls, come to thee, and asked forgiveness of God, and the messenger had asked forgiveness for them, they would have found God receptive, merciful. But nay, by thy Lord, they do not believe, until they make thee judge in what arises between them, then find in their souls no distress at what thou decidest, and submit fully. And had we decreed for them, kill yourselves, or go forth from your homes, there would have done it only a few among them. And had they done what they were exhorted, it would have been better for them, and a stronger confirmation. And then would we have given them from ourselves a tremendous reward and guided them to a straight path. And whoso obeys God and the messenger, they are with those to whom God has shown favour among the prophets and the men of truth and the witnesses and the righteous. And goodly are these as a company. That is the bounty from God and sufficient is God as Noah. O you who heed warning, take your precautions, and advance in groups or advance altogether. And among you is he who delays, then if misfortune befalls you, he says, God was gracious to me that I was not witness with them. And if there reach you bounty from God, he says, as if there were no love between you and him, would that I had been with them, then would I have achieved a tremendous achievement. And let fight for the cause of God those who sell the life of this world for the hereafter. And whoso fights for the cause of God, be he killed or victorious, upon him will we bestow a tremendous reward. And why should you not fight for the cause of God and of the oppressed among the men and the women and the children who say, Our Lord, take thou us out of this city whose people are wrongdoers, and give thou us from thyself an ally, and give thou us from thyself a helper. Those who heed warning fight for the cause of God, and those who are indifferent to warning fight for the cause of God of idols. Then fight the allies of the shaitan. The plan of the shaitan is weak. Hast thou not considered those to whom it was said, Restrain your hands and uphold the duty and give the purity? But when fighting is ordained for them, then some among them fear men like the fear of God, or a stronger fear. And they say, Our Lord, why hast thou ordained fighting for us? Oh, that thou wouldst but delay us a little while. Say thou, little is the enjoyment of this world, and the hereafter will be better for him who is in prudent fear, and you will not be wronged a hair upon a date stone. Wheresoever you be, death will overtake you, and though you be in castles built high, ellipsis, it will find you to continue. 
And if good befalls them, they say, This is from God. And if evil befalls them, they say, This is from thee, say thou, All is from God. Then what ails these people? They scarcely understand a statement. What befalls thee of good, it is from God. And what befalls thee of evil, it is from thyself. And we sent thee to mankind as a messenger, and sufficient is God as witness. Whoso obeys the messenger, he has obeyed God. And whoso turns away, we sent thee not as a custodian over them. And they talk obedience, but when they emerge from before thee, a number among them plan by night other than what thou sayest. And God records what they plan by night. So turn thou away from them, and place thou thy trust in God. And God is sufficient as guardian. Will they then not consider the Qur'an with care? And had it been from other than God, they would have found therein much contradiction. And when there comes to them a matter of security or fear, they spread it about. And had they referred it to the messenger and to those in authority among them, there would have known it those who draw correct conclusions among them. And were it not for the bounty of God and his mercy upon you, you would have followed the shaitan save a few. So fight thou for the cause of God. Thou art not charged save with thyself, but rouse thou the believers. It may be that God will restrain the might of those who are indifferent to warning, and God is stronger in might, and stronger in exemplary punishment. Whoso intercedes in a good cause has a share thereof, and whoso intercedes in an evil cause has a portion thereof. And God is over all things a giver of sustenance. And when you are greeted with a greeting, greet with better than it, or return it. God takes account of all things. God, there is no God save he. He will gather you all to the day of resurrection, whereof there is no doubt. And who is more truthful than God in statement? Why should you be divided concerning the waverers, when God turns them back for what they earned? Seek you to guide him whom God sent astray, and he whom God sends astray, for him thou canst not find a way. They would that you should deny even as they deny, so you might be the same. And take not allies among them until they emigrate for the cause of God. Then, if they turn back, take them and kill them wherever you find them, and take no ally or helper among them, save those who join a people between whom and you is an agreement, or they come to you their hearts, restraining them from fighting you or fighting their people. And had God willed, he would have given them power over you. Then would they have fought you. And if they leave you alone and fight you not and offer you peace, then God makes no way for you against them. You will find others desiring safety from you and safety from their people. As often as they are turned back to the means of denial, they are turned over to it. Then, if they keep not away from you, nor extend to you peace and restrain their hands, take them and kill them wherever you gain the ascendancy over them. And against such we give you clear warrant, it is not for a believer to kill a believer, save in error. And whoso killed a believer in error, the manumission of a believing slave and blood money delivered to his family, save if they forgive by way of charity. And if he be of a people hostile to you and a believer, the manumission of a believing slave. And if he be of a people between whom and you is an agreement, blood money delivered to his family, and the manumission of a believing slave. And whoso has not the means, a fast of two months consecutively, as repentance from God. And God is knowing, wise. And whoso kills a believer intentionally, his reward is hell. 
he abiding eternally therein, and God is wroth with him and has cursed him and prepared for him a tremendous punishment. O you who heed warning, when you go forth for the cause of God, verify and say not to one who offers you peace, thou art not a believer, seeking the transitory things of the life of this world. With God are many gains. Thus were you before, but God was gracious to you, so verify. God is aware of what you do. Not equal are those among the believers who sit without injury and those who strive for the cause of God with their property and their lives. God favours those who strive with their property and their lives with a degree above those who sit. And each does God promise good, but he favours those who strive over those who sit with a tremendous reward. Degrees are from him as are forgiveness and mercy. And God is forgiving merciful. Those whom the angels take wronging their souls, they say, in what condition were you? Say they, we were oppressed in the land. They say, was not God's earth spacious that you could have emigrated therein? These, their habitation is hell, and evil is it as a journey's end. Save the oppressed among the men and the women and the children without means and not being rightly guided to a way. These, it may be that God will pardon them, and God is pardoning, forgiving. And whoso emigrates for the cause of God will find in the earth much refuge and abundance. And whoso leaves his house and emigrate to God and his messenger, then death overtakes him. His reward is upon God, and God is forgiving, merciful. And when you are travelling in the earth, then you do no wrong to cut short some of the duty, if you fear that those who are indifferent to warning will subject you to means of denial, those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue are an open enemy to you. And when thou art among them, uphold thou the duty for them. Let there stand a number of them with thee, and let them take their arms. And when they have submitted, let them be behind you. And let another number come that has not performed the duty, and let them perform the duty with thee. And let them take their precautions and their arms. Those who are indifferent to warning long for you to neglect your arms and your equipment, so they might assault you in a single assault, ellipsis, so neglect them not to continue. But you do no wrong if there be a hindrance to you from rain, or you be sick, that you lay aside your arms, but take your precautions. God has prepared for those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue a humiliating punishment. And when you have concluded the duty, remember God, standing, sitting, and upon your sides, and when you are at ease, and uphold the duty, the duty is upon the believers a time-limited decree. And relent not in seeking the people. If you are suffering, then they suffer, even as you suffer, and you hope from God for that for which they hope not. And God is knowing wise. We have sent down to thee the law aright, that thou judge between men by what God has shown thee, and be thou not an advocate for the treacherous, and seek thou forgiveness of God. God is forgiving, merciful. And argue thou not on behalf of those who deceive themselves. God loves not him who is treacherous, false. They seek to hide from men, and they seek not to hide from God. And he is with them when they plan by night what is displeasing to him of policy. And God encompasses what they do. Here you are, those who plead for them in the life of this world, but who will plead with God for them on the day of resurrection, or who will be their guardian? And whoso does evil or wrongs his soul, then seeks pardon of God, finds God forgiving, merciful. And whoso commits falsehood, but commits it against his soul, and God is knowing, wise. 
and whoso commits an error or falsehood, then casts it upon an innocent, he has burdened himself with calumny and obvious falsehood. And were it not for the bounty of God and his mercy upon thee, a number of them had purposed to lead thee astray. And they lead astray only themselves, and they harm thee not at all. And God sent down upon thee the law and wisdom, and taught thee what thou knewest not. And the bounty of God towards thee is tremendous. There is no good in much of their confidential conversation, save whoso enjoins charity, and what is fitting and right ordering among men. And whoso does that, seeking the good pleasure of God, we will bestow upon him a tremendous reward. And whoso is hostile towards the messenger after the guidance has become clear to him and follows other than the way of the believers, we will turn him to that to which he turns and burn him in hell. And evil is it as a journey's end. God pardons not that a partnership be ascribed to him, but he pardons other than that whom he wills. And whoso ascribes a partnership to God, he has strayed far away. They call besides him save to females, and they call save to a rebellious shaitan. God cursed him, and he said, I will take of thy servants an appointed portion, and I will lead them astray, and I will arouse desires in them and I will command them, and they will cut the ears of cattle, and I will command them, and they will change the creation of God. And whoso takes the shaitan for ally instead of God, he has suffered clear loss. He promises them, and arouses desires in them, and the shaitan promises them only deception. These, their habitation is hell and they will find no refuge therefrom. But those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness, we will make them enter gardens beneath which rivers flow, they abiding eternally therein forever. The promise of God is true, and who is more truthful than God in speech? It is not according to your vain desires, nor the vain desires of the doctors of the law. Whoso does evil, has the recompense thereof, and will not find besides God ally or helper. And whoso does any deeds of righteousness, whether male or female, and is a believer, these enter the garden, and they are not wronged a speck on a date stone. And who is better in doctrine than he who submits his countenance to God and is a doer of good and follows the creed of Ibrahim inclining to truth? And God took Ibrahim as friend. And to God belongs what is in the heavens and what is in the earth. And God encompasses all things. And they ask thee for a ruling concerning women. Say thou, God gives you the ruling concerning them, and what is recited upon you in the law concerning the fatherless women, to whom you give not what is ordained for them when you desire to marry them, and concerning the oppressed among the children, and that you uphold equity with the fatherless. And whatever good you do, God knows it. But if a woman fears haughtiness or desertion from her husband, they do no wrong that they do right between themselves in peace, and doing right is better, and covetousness is present in the souls. But if you do good and are in prudent fear, then God is aware of what you do, and you will not be able to deal equally between wives, though you try. But turn not entirely away, leaving one as if suspended. And if you do right and are in prudent fear, God is forgiving, merciful. But if they part, God will enrich each out of his abundance, and God is encompassing, wise. And to God belongs what is in the heavens and what is in the earth. And we enjoined those in possession of the law before you and you yourselves, that you be in prudent fear of God, 
and if you deny, to God belongs what is in the heavens and what is in the earth, and God is free from need, praiseworthy, and to God belongs what is in the heavens and what is in the earth, and God is sufficient as guardian. If he wills, he will remove you, O mankind, and bring forth others, and God has power over that. Whoso desires the reward of this world, with God is the reward of this world and the hereafter, and God is hearing, seeing. O oh, you who heed warning, be responsible for equity, witnesses to God, though it be against yourselves, or parents, or close relatives. If he be rich or poor, God is nearer to both, so follow not vain desires, lest you be unjust. And if you distort or evade, God is aware of what you do. O oh, you who heed warning, believe in God and his messenger, and the law that he has sent down upon his messenger, and the law that he sent down before. And whoso denies God and his angels and his laws and his messengers and the last day, he has strayed far away. Those who heed warning then deny, then believe, then deny, then increase in denial. God has not pardoned them nor guided them to a way. Bear thou tidings to the waverers that they have a painful punishment. Those who take those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue as allies rather than the believers, do they seek of them greatness? And greatness belongs to God altogether. And he has sent down upon you in the law that when you hear the proofs of God rejected and mocked, sit not with them until they jest on a subject other than that, then would you be like them. God will gather the waverers and those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue into hell altogether. Those who watch and wait with regard to you. If there be victory for you from God, they say, have we not been with you? And if there be for those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue a portion, they say, have we not earned your affection by defending you against the believers? And God will judge between you on the day of resurrection. And God does not make for those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue any way against the believers. The waverers seek to deceive God, but he deceives them. And when they come to the duty, they come to be seen of men and to remember not God save a little, wavering in between, neither towards these nor towards those. And he whom God causes to go astray, thou wilt not find for him a way. O you who heed warning, take not those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue as allies instead of the believers, would you give God a clear warrant against you? The waverers are in the lowest depth of the fire, and thou wilt find no helper for them, save those who repent and do right and hold fast to God, and are sincere in their doctrine to God. These are with the believers, and God will give the believers a tremendous reward. What has God to do with your punishment, if you are grateful and believe? And God is grateful, knowing.